we hear this from politicians all the time, that we need to grow, uh, at what stake? And if we grow more, which is certainly possible, what sort of instability do we create in other parts of the world to allow that to happen? You start to run into the physical limits that there's only so much material in the world. We need effort on all sides at all levels to make a difference. The difference that I've made, I just had an idea for a film and I decided I'm gonna write one. Life in the slum is very hard. Okay, sometimes we do go without even eating supper now. I was the conceiver of and co-producer of the film The End of Poverty. The End of Poverty is a film about the origins of poverty and why it persists in a world where there's so much wealth. And the idea was to look at a historical cue for that, to see you know, what is it in our history, in our structure of culture and society and political economy that charges, that fuels the engine, that uh, creates poverty, whether or not we're intending to. There always will be rich people and poor people, but there don't need to be people who are desperately poor who have no access to resources and that requires paying for what you get in every other level of society we all want a good deal but we pay for what we get from a western perspective you either know about really poor people or presidents and you know the, the high level un talks and trade talks but it's all those people in between that make it happen and really know the guts of it and we've talked to a lot of people with the guts of it some will have to die uh, because we are following a particular economic model. We talk to people who are the, the very poorest and people who are slightly above that and talk about to middle bureaucrats as well. Some of the middle bureaucrat stories are really powerful that made it into the film just because they understand the, the mechanisms of things that are going on around them. One story from an Ethiopian sort of middle level minister, which I thought was just, I didn't know this particular detail until I heard it in the film, but Kenya has to sell its tea which they pick and grow, to and coffee as well, to Europe to be processed there and then sold back. So that makes Germany the largest producer and exporter of coffee in the world, but there's not one coffee bush in Germany. How is it that Germany is a bigger coffee exporter than Kenya, where all of it is? It's because we make these insane trade regulations, which means that we don't allow countries like that to make finished goods. I don't think largely that there is a malicious intent to say, we're gonna keep our people uneducated and out of the loop. But I do think that there is a benefit to that, which is that we are a consumerist society. Our wealth, our prosperity, our richness as a nation requires us always buying things all the time. The question about what people can do is a one that comes up a lot after talkbacks on the film. And it's a it's a hard question to answer because the film is so big. There's no one evil enemy. Uh, there's no person sort of, you know, maliciously tapping their fingers like, "Wahaha, I'm going to make poor people." Um, it's done out of sleep more than anything and just inertia. Uh, that just just sort of the way things are and we need to protect that and I'm inured to this other part of the world So it's not a non-issue. I'll just keep on doing this um, So I think that comes through in the film So the question of what you can do because the problem does, is so large is Seems problematic whether your issue is food whether your issue is politics whether your issue is you know science whether your issue is consumption or children or education or girls wherever it is just start and see how that connects to the larger issue and keep on drawing those lines. Just start. It doesn't need to, you need to be wildly creative. I mean, if it means if all you can do is recycle and know how that connect, connects in a small way and you can talk about that because you have six kids and you have four jobs between you and your husband, great. We need you. Just start.